Good afternoon, folks. It's Bob Plaschke. I'm the CEO of Sonom Technologies. We're doing uh, 60 Seconds at IWCE here in Las Vegas, sunny Las Vegas. Um, today, this is a special, special treat. This is kind of a, kind of a rare special treat, for at least for me. Um, I am privileged to be here with um, Harlan McEwen. Harlan McEwen has led the public safety through the last 30 years of significant uh, transformation and improvements in, in communications capabilities. Harlan, it's so nice for you to take some time. Great to be here. Um, you know, what we're doing is 60 seconds at IWCE. Anything the, the, the last couple of days that struck your fancy? Well, you and, and uh, many of the people that are on the exhibit floor are showing, you know, new products and the new ways of approaching, you know, solutions to the, to the common everyday problems of public safety first responders. And uh, so what I'm doing is, you know, to, to stay contemporary, I, I go around and I listen to all their pitches. Some of them are practical, some of them are impractical. <laughs> and I mean, you know, I'm going to tell them if I, if I think <laughs> that isn't maybe the best thing, but, but nevertheless, that's what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm learning, and I've seen some really good things. You know, one of the, people, one of the, uh, the comments I've heard on the floor is, um, is this the, you know, is, is kind of what's out there, which is kind of half LMR, half LTE, is this kind of what is a preview of coming attractions? Is this where radio communications moves to, where they're uh, integrated yeah, the, experience? The discussions this week have really started to gel around what I believe is the answer, at least long term. Uh, when I say long term, maybe short term, but I think you're going to have both. I think both are going to continue to exist. The more they are integrated so that they can talk to each other, LMR with, yep. LXT, with LTE, I mean, your devices allow that easily to happen. I can use a smartphone now to access LMR and, and get all for a chief. That's a great feature uh, because I don't want to carry a big, heavy LMR radio, but I can still carry a smartphone uh, like you have developed and do that. Well, you can stay connected. And that's one of the things that yeah. we've seen is that, you know, roughly 20 to 30 percent of an agency is non-mission critical or administrative. True. So no disrespect to a chief to call no, it no, administrative. No, no, but you can take all that traffic off of, off of that mission critical system, that's that awesome. LMR system. That's right. And, and it works well. And you can extend the life of that yeah. system in that context and uh, yeah. and save taxpayers money, which is a good thing. And these, exactly. You know, these, you can buy these uh, at a much lower cost. Of, much lower cost. <laughs> I mean, it's a... It's a it's phenomenal uh, development. I mean, the uh, I've used the uh, Sonom XP8 device with push to talk, uh, both with uh, EC, EPTC. T. I mean, coming from an LMR world before all this started, the uh, voice quality is much better, actually, than P25. I mean, the codecs are, are good. No, I, I'd say normally, I, can I quote you on that? But I think I just did. Yeah, so. you did. <laughs> no, I don't mind. I mean, it's the truth. Folks, this is a rare treat. This is uh, this is truly. Uh, we'll look back as FirstNet evolves, and we'll look back and understand kind of what got us to a transformational change in public safety. And uh, all roads will lead back to Harlan. Harlan, thank you. Thank so much you very for your much. Time. Yeah. Good.